This Engineering is Elementary digital how-to will demonstrate the creation and use of the pulley station's double pulley from the unit Marvelous Machines Making Work Easier. The chapters in this video show how to prepare, use, and package the double pulley. To construct one double pulley for your classroom, you will need one set of materials common to all the Simple Machines stations. One spring scale measuring 10 newtons, one load that weighs approximately one to two pounds, such as a filled half-liter water bottle, at least three feet of string or mason line, and a pair of scissors. You will also need the following materials specific to the double pulley. Two carabiners, 15 feet of rope, two pulleys, and one over-the-door hook. Begin by placing an over-the-door hook over a classroom door, a sturdy closet door, or the top edge of a chalkboard. Attach one pulley to the over-the-door hook using a carabiner. First, clip the carabiner to the hole in the pulley's fixture. Then, hang the carabiner from the over-the-door hook. Tie a knot one end of the 15-foot length of rope to the bottom of this first pulley. Next, loop the rope by first feeding it through the bottom groove of the other pulley. and then through the top groove of the original upper pulley. The lower pulley will hang from the rope with its fixture at the bottom. With the rope fed through both pulleys, be sure to reorient to the bottom pulley if necessary so that its fixture is facing down and so both lengths of rope between the two pulleys are not intertwined. Also, Replace the rope into the groove of the bottom pulley again if it has fallen out of place. To prepare the water bottle load used with the double pulley, cut a piece of string and tie and knot it around the neck of the half liter filled water bottle. Then, tie and knot a loop with the remaining string. Attach the second carabiner to the loop on the load. Then, clip this carabiner to the fixture of the lower pulley. After the load is attached to the lower pulley, pull the rope hanging from the upper pulley. Keep pulling until the load bottle is resting on the ground and there is no slack in both the rope and the string attached to the load. Create a small loop at the end of rope hanging from the upper pulley. Then. Attach the hook of the spring scale onto the loop of rope. The spring scale should be oriented so that its ring is facing down, or if there is no ring on the spring scale, so that the text printed on the scale is upside down. When resting, the loop in the rope plus the spring scale should be at a height that is above students' heads, but is still reachable. During testing, students will have the easiest time reading the spring scale if it reaches their eye level when pulled. To complete the preparation of the double pulley, mark the 6 inch height that the load will be raised during testing. Measure 6 inches from the floor and mark this height on the door with a piece of masking tape. 
The bottom of the load will be raised to this height when using the double pulley. To use the double pulley for testing, students should use one finger to pull fluidly and straight down on the ring of the spring scale until the load reaches the mark on the door. The reading from the scale should be taken while the load is being raised 6 inches. Students should not pull down on the spring scale at an angle or in a jerky manner. They should also not pull on the spring scale by grasping the body of the scale. To package and store the double pulley, we recommend keeping all the parts used for the station together. First, remove the spring scale and water bottle load from the double pulley. Plan to store the water bottle with all the other loads. Then, remove the double pulley from the over-the-door hook. Gather the double pulley materials and spring scale and place them inside a box or bag. We recommend labeling the box or bag double pulley. We recommend storing the water bottles for all the stations together and separate from any simple machine materials. This will make it easier to set up in the future and prevent any materials from getting wet. This completes the packaging of the double pulley.